Psalm 105 O give thanks unto the Lord, and call upon his name. Tell the people what things he hath done. O let your songs be of him, and praise him. And let your talking be of all his wondrous works. Rejoice in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember the marvellous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham his servant, Ye children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the world. He hath been always mindful of his covenant and promise that he made to a thousand generations. Even the covenant that he made with Abraham and the oath that he swear unto Isaac, and appointed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting testament, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. When there were yet but a few of them, and they strangers in the land. What time as they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong, but reproved even kings for their sakes. Touch not mine anointed, And do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a dearth upon the land and destroyed all the provision of bread. But he had sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold to be a bondservant, whose feet They hurt in the stocks. The iron entered into his soul until the time came that his cause was known. The word of the Lord tried him. The king sent and delivered him. The prince of the people let him go free. He made him lord also of his house, and ruler of all his substance, that he might inform his princes after his will, and teach his senators wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob was a stranger in the land of Ham and he increased his people exceedingly and made them stronger than their enemies, whose heart turned so that they hated his people and dealt untruly with his servants. Then sent he Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen And these showed his tokens among them, and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness, and it was dark, and they were not obedient unto his word. He turned their waters into blood, and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs, Yea, even in their king's chambers, he spake the word, 
and there came all manner of flies, and lice in all their quarters. He gave them hailstones for rain, and flames of fire in their land. He smote their vines also, and fig trees, and destroyed the trees that were in their coasts. He spake the word, and the grasshoppers came, and caterpillars innumerable, and did eat up all the grass in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote all the firstborn in their land, even the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold. There was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was glad at their departing, for they were afraid of them. He spread out a cloud to be a covering, and fire to give light in the night season. At their desire he brought quails, and he filled them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock of stone, and the waters flowed out, so that rivers ran in the dry places. For why? He remembered his holy promise. And Abraham, his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy. And his chosen with gladness. And gave them lands of the heathen. And they took the labours of the people in possession that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.